Hey everybody, welcome back to my next episode of Rogue Tech. In the last episode, we just refitted all our lances here. So we're outfitted now with two full medium lances. Uh, if we go into our base here real quick, and uh, we have our main lance, which we've upfit, upgraded now. So we've got a, uh, a heavy Gauss rifle on our hunchback, which I'm hoping we have a better chance to hit with. Wolverine's been switched around. Uh, so we have uh, a couple of uh, ATM systems in there for a little bit more punch and close range. So he's going to be our primary spotter from now on. And um, we were able to um, basically outfit a couple of other mechs with more heat sinking, uh, better targeting the uh, Vindicator. We were able to upgrade the engine slightly on it so we have more movement and stuff. And then our, lower, our pirate lance, which we'll be doing in the next episode. But for this one, we're going to drop down on this planet. We're going to attempt a three and a half skull mission here. So I'm thinking we should probably be okay. We're going to have a look in the barracks real quick, though, before we go down. Just to make sure our primary pilots don't have any extra points that we could probably add on. So we could add um, a little bit more stability damage on the flatliner or less heat generation. I think we're going to save this, though. We want to kind of go up here to the tactics line. Ground Zero doesn't really have anything going on. Height, I think, is pretty good here. Uh, Jasper is in the Pirate Lance and uh, Vane Skater. Yeah, so we don't really have anything we can outfit our pilots with at the moment, but we're going to go to contracts now. We're going to take this um, territorial claims contract, and we're going to uh, do a destroy base mission. Now, this should generally be relatively easier than, you know, fighting more than one lance at a time, so chances are it's going to be fighting one lance of mechs, destroying the turrets, and then maybe perhaps another lance of mechs. So, we're going to take this mission, we're going to negotiate it, and we're going to go for max salvage on this one. We're going to have our pirate lance basically make up any deficit we get. Plus, we can sell, we have some light mechs that we can sell to and get rid of. I'm thinking that we're probably going to sell the Venom and the Dagger. So let's load up here, Hunchback, let's get ourselves in proper order, Trebuchet, Wolverine. Now the Wolverine, I'm really interested to see how well those ATMs perform. We pulled the SRM-6s out of it to uh, go with a little bit more close-in punch and Bane Skater. And here's our Lance, and let's deploy and like, get this mission done. See, it's, they're telling us that we're going to need more firepower, but at two and a half skulls going to three and a half skull mission, I think we'll probably be okay. If we need to bail, we can do that. Great. Couldn't have been a worse map. Okay, we really need to maximize our defense here. Um, we're going to have to worry about early turret, which is like right here. This one is not so bad, and then there's two turrets on this side over here, which I don't really have to worry about as long as we can stay sort of behind stuff. I think we'll probably be okay. Uh, we're going to reserve back to turn one again. Now I consider swapping out the uh, butcher here for um, one of the uh, other uh, mechs that we have, one of the trebuchets to get an extra five tons in this lance. But I, I wasn't really that concerned with the extra few tons. Um, I would rather have that extra initiative. Um, it's kind of more important, I think, than having the uh, extra five tons on a mech. Just being able to reserve back to turn zero and then being able to go again right after all the other mechs. I think it's a huge advantage. Now, I know we're probably going to be fighting a lot of heavies the next little bit, but still. Alright, so it looks like these guys all reserved. So now we got... So these two guys, 65 and 65, and then the turret goes last. So this is what I mean about being able to go first. Now, if these guys were medium land, medium max, I'd be going before them. So we're going to minimize the amount that the enemy can see us. Perhaps I should get in on this turret, too, so we can spot that right away. And I think what I'll do, though, I'm going to reserve. I'm going to let uh, Height go first, see if we can get him down there. So we got a 45 tenner coming up on the side. Confirmed. I don't think it's a Vindicator, because if it was, he probably would have fired with the PPC. So let's get Height down in here. I want to try to utilize these rocks as much as I can to shield myself from anything over here. So let's have a look at this assault turret first, or hardened turret. 233 armor, medium lasers, and a large laser. Not that afraid. Catapult, oh, Butterbee. So this one we should probably worry about a little bit, and a second catapult, C4, two LRM-20s. So we can max out some catapult parts here if we think if we get lucky. So our ATMs are looking pretty good. This guy hasn't moved yet, too, so that's good. He's fortified. Now, I could probably 
destroy... I can't hit with the medium lasers on this one, though. So I'm thinking that we're going to take out Jenny here, because she's got more weapons. So let's just fire everything on her and see how we do with these ATMs. Now, we're pulling off a lot of heat here, but we'll be turning back one of our medium lasers once we get closer. Now, let's see how you Okay, ATM's doing low damage at this range. Plus she's fortified. Now our tag didn't hit, so... Okay, what's this guy? A Venom? Or Ansazi? Ansazi. Okay, he needs to get close, so we're not really worried about him. So let's Wait get Vanskater moving now. I think we'll probably move to a point where we can work on that turret. Um, the heavy Gauss rifle. Turret stationary, we have a better chance to hit, I think, but let's have a look down here at these guys. Uh, we've got 73 is not bad, but I'll take the 87 on the turret. So we're going to fire on the turret. Maybe we take it out, maybe we don't. Uh, okay. So we're going to need to use somebody else on the turret there. So we're going to walk over here with Flatliner. I'm going. Want to get the maximum damage on the missiles. We're going to fire against Jenny here. She's standing in the open. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll multi-target. So this turret needs how much now? 122. So we're going to fire the lasers on the turret and the missiles on Jenny. Just like this. Multiple enemies locked in. So I know it's not enough, but we will be able to follow up with a PPC in the next turn. Welcome to the game, Jenny. Waiting for orders. Okay, so I'm going to walk it up. Affirmative. And we're going to multi-target again, once again, on the turret and on Jenny. Splitting them AB. I copy. So there goes the turret. We don't have to worry about that for now. Breaching shot on Jenny. 101. Now I want to see where that hit, though. And she's not moving. Wow, like no damage. Those SRMs, well, we want we want those. Wait, they're double, are they single plus or double plus? She's got fire and move, though. Oh, right, uh. C4 catapult. I know, we don't, I know we have catapult parts, so it'll be nice if we pick up some. All right, pepper damage. So we got her in the torso, 47 left. So that's their turn. Now we're going to maximize our damage here. So we're going to burrow through Jenny's side. Sorry, Jenny, but... Coordinates received. I'm going to close. We're going to burrow through her side with a couple of PPC shots. We're doing a little better on our heat now that we've added that... Uh, the shot. Um, yeah, there we go. We're that better um, heat, heat exchanger. Okay. So how are we doing here on Jenny's side? Her leg's almost gone and her torso's almost gone. Blackjack coming in. Uh, this is a pirate jack, or what is this? A 1x medium and flamers. Okay. Not worried about that. Yep. Flatliner. Let's move up over here. Actually, let's not do that. Let's, uh. Ready to rock. I want to get height sprinting up here. I want to see what we can do close targeting with the, uh. catapult here with these ATMs. Watch your position and don't get flanked. It's not that strong opposition. Oh, we got second targets coming up here. Okay, so we got to kill these guys fast, which I think we should be able to do. So we're going to overheat, but I'm not worried. We're going to turn off the one uh, medium laser. We're going to fire directly on this guy. Fire everything. So the ATM is pulling off 11 damage at point blank, which is nice. Pilot hit. So we're going to get Vanskater on the side of Jenny here. And Sazi moving in. We're going to use Flatliner on the other catapult, maybe get another head hit off. Stop. You're just embarrassing by. They're just embarrassing themselves. So we're going to move up here, turn our Away. side. Firing down here. So 61% chance with this. Better than the better than the ER medium. But we're going to fire everything. Yeah, we're being plagued by it again. We get the leg. We got a leg hit. Okay, good. Now, question. Jenny, do you have an XL engine? 
you don't. So if you take the torso, it's not going to make that much difference. Okay. So Flatliner is going to move up here. We're going to sprint it up. Want to make sure we're behind our other guys here. And we're going to unload everything on the uh, second catapult here. Primitive. Looking for stability hits, also looking for head hits. So lots of stability damage. He's definitely going to need to walk away from us. Okay. We've got a heavy mech coming in from over there. Ten, ten shots. What Do we know what tonnage this guy is? If we can move here? I have no idea. What did I tell you guys about turning your back? Unless, of course, you have more back armor than front armor, but unlikely at this point. Yeah, there's weird stuff in this canyon for targeting. Okay, so it looks like that's a long-range missile turret. Very minimum damage. So we're not going to bring... Uh, let's reserve back one turn. So here comes the Blackjack. He's still out of range, so we're not that worried about him. So let's get height out of there. I'm going to bring you down behind this guy. And we're going to unload into his backside with just the ATMs. Going to turn everything else off here. Going to fire the tag as well. Torso gone, tagged. Health 204. Is that a knockdown? Nope. So, I'm going to take ground zero back here, just back slightly. Actually, if I don't move enough, he's going to definitely be targeted. So, I'm just going to walk it back up here, get a bit of uh, evasion going. A couple of pips, not bad. And then we're going to do a offensive push on Jenny here. We're going to try and take our other leg off. Yeah, that's totally a leg hit, eh, buddy? Good shot. Okay, do we knock her down? Nope. Okay, so Flatliner's going to double target two of these guys. We're going to move Flatliner back here. Getting some distance. Removing the st stability problem. Multi-targeting. Jenny's going to get targeted. This catapult's going to get targeted. We're going to leave our lasers off. And we're going to A-B them. And we're just going to fire. So we're just looking for a knockdown. We're not looking for any other kill here. Okay, so she's bailed out. Crapola! Right torso destroyed, health down to one. If the pilot falls over, he's ejected too. So we've maximized our salvage both in the catapults. So Van Skater's got an open target now for which we want to shoot at. I think probably the Hunchback is probably the least... This guy's fortified. They're both fortified, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Let's move back so we're not in the turret's line of sight. And I did not want to click, but we did, so it looks like we are, this is our target. Going to leave off the ER medium laser. Have some of this. Oh, nice. A couple leg shots. So that's, just, that's it for us. So, LRM-10 could be a... I don't know, we don't have a weight on these guys yet. So there's two of them. That's an auto cannon. Hmm. If I have to guess, maybe a Thunderbolt and I'm not sure what. Orion maybe? If they're both heavy mechs. My old mama can hit harder than that. Oh shut up, you're gonna get yourself killed. Okay, so I am gonna move first this time. There's no point in reserving. We just need to take these guys out as fast as possible. So we're just going to fire straight in the side of this guy. I'm not really concerned about salvage. So we're just going to fire two shots. Hopefully we get a leg shot, but we might not. No. Nope. Looks like uh, arm and uh, torso. Blackjack finally moving into range. We're going to take advantage of Flatliner up here. 
going to start moving forward. We're going to have to engage those heavies in a second. So we're going to move down here. And we're going to unload onto the side of this guy with everything. Got it, Commander. Wow. Let's see what he's doing here. Can you remain unstable, are you? Huh. Okay. Systems holding. Confirmed. Well, Height needs to drop some heat, and normally I don't like to melee, but uh, can we get this guy? We can't actually melee him, unfortunately. But we can get around behind him. Yeah. Certainly do that. And I think what I'll do is I'm going to hold off on the ATMs. We're going to save those missiles for um, the guys coming in. We're just going to fire with three mediums. We're not probably not going to hit, but we're going to drop some heat here. Sticky. Yeah, no big deal. Just trying to drop a little bit of heat. It is a mish. Okay. Need something, Chief? Van Skater, we're going to move you back a little bit. Yeah, we don't really have the ability to move you f to a point where the Gauss rifle is probably in better, the best range it can be. Yeah, with a sprint, that's going to be a problem. So we're just going to move back. Um, why do my chances to hit all of a sudden change to way lower. Forty-eight twenty-four. What if we just melee here? Oh, it's because I was sprinting, that's why. If I just move back here. Yeah, that's why. So let's move um, here. Moving out. And make the attempt without the uh, large Gauss rifle. I'm gonna use these three. I'm gonna try and get a leg hit on this guy. On well, we get his arm. Ah, T3 destroyed. Damn it. Think I hit something good. Okay, let's see what we can pull off next. Now we gotta take these two medium mechs down fast. So this is a 50 tonner. Ouch. Centurion probably. Could be a Yen Lo Wang. I wonder if it's just two mechs, though. They're all mediums. There's another one coming in. Yeah, I fell prey to my uh, same thing. Don't turn my back, eh? A lot of misses, though. Armor holding. Okay, so what do we got here? 45, 50 and a 75, so maybe that is... Oh! 75. Hmm. Good to go. Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna unload on the Yensazi and try and take this guy out before anything happens. Oh, really missed that one. So torso gone, leg gone, knocked down, pilot injured. Knocks him back a turn. We should be able to finish this guy up. comes the blackjack for a headbutt. Turning his back to the Wolverine. That's fine. Well, not quite to the Wolverine, but it will be in a second. Alright, first of all, height. Let's get you into position. Uh, oh, you're like a whole level down. You can't actually get in here close enough. Well, okay. So let's just move over here. We'll turn our side. Affirmative. We got a lot of back damage here. We're down to one. So we we'll have to make sure we don't uh, turn our back to anybody here. And we're going to unload on this guy. We're going to go for, I think, probably a CT. We want to minimize the uh, loot table on anything other than those catapults here at the moment. Go. Okay, so that's him gone. Target down. 45 tonner moving up. Should be able to pull this black down this blackjack down this turn. Just gonna move uh, Vane Skater over here. Looking at this guy's back. Let's give him some love. Got his torso, not bad. Reporting critical hit. Yeah. And flatliner move around behind him. Maybe we can take him down and then we don't have to worry about their turret. Maybe. We'll see. 
Wish I had dead fire ammo. Don't think I sprinted far enough, but that's fine. And knockdown. Should be anyway. Nope. Well, we go before him next turn, so he's done for. 50, 50 tender moving up. Okay, so they got another mech over there, too. That's a lot of missiles. Probably another catapult, maybe? Stalker? One said 75 tons. 50, 75, 50, 45. So maybe it is a stalker. 75 tons. I thought they were 80. I know I said that before. I thought they were 80 tons, but I guess they're not. So let's move back into a firing line here. I want to get to a position where we can just sh peg these guys off as they come in one at a time. So let's get up by the rock here. We're going to finish this guy up. Uh, we're just going to go with one PPC. Fire straight into his back. They should probably do it. One in the back. Yep. Okay, another Blackjack, 1X. Get some medium laser shot off. I don't know, there must be something invisible there. Okay, so we're going to move height first. Going to spread him up over here, somewhere. Where can we get him? Oh, we can get him around this way. Just going to have him move around this way. He's not going to fire. Got to cool him off. So the next thing we need to worry about now is how are we going to keep this guy cool? So maybe exchangers or something. I know we talked about rotating the medium laser, that's also a possibility, but... Okay, we need to walk. So we're just going to walk over here. I'm walking here. Going to unload on this guy with just this. Minimize the heat we're using. Yeah, I'm definitely, you know, I like really like the camera angles in this game. You really get a sense of being in the cockpit when they, uh, when they zoom in like that. It's kind of cool. Okay, van skater. Um... I just move back here a little bit, just enough to get a little bit of chevrons. And I think we'll just leave the pulses off and go with the uh, medium. Yeah, let's we'll leave the medium off too, maybe just fire the gauss rifle. we got 12 rounds left, so... Got it. Nope. Reporting negative damage. Yeah, I wasn't expecting you to hit 21, I can't blame you for that. Now if you get an 80% chance to hit and you miss, then I can get upset. Alright, ground zero. Commander. Uh, we're, our heat is good. I think I'm going to move in. I want to spot what we're up against here. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. That's going to give me a building target there. Let's walk down here. Acknowledged. And we'll put both PPCs in on this guy. Now I could uh, do an offensive push and try for a CT, but I don't want to miss with the PPCs. So we're just going to fire them both. Okay, nice. Injured the pilot again. We'll he's unsteady. So he's probably going to move first. Wow. Uh, you should have moved farther than that, buddy. That's a, you know, a huge mistake. Okay. Hey, the fact that he fired too is like a big mistake, but... Okay, we're going to move Flatliner up over here. Sort of get him into a position where the other guys can't see him. Um, I do want to keep these missiles protected, so we're going to unload on this guy again on the side. Gonna have to start watching my ammo now. Um, I've got another four and a half turns of firing with the LRMs. So I'm thinking I'm gonna click one of them off and we'll fire this way. Firing on target. Okay, so he's unstable. This just in. Critical Great. hit. So we should be able to use Vein Skater and fire on the side of him with the uh, Gauss rifle again comes the auto cannon. Okay. As long as that 60 is being spread amongst many, like all of our mech warriors, I'm not that worried about it. I mean, it's a large chunk of damage, but still, as long as it's spread about amongst everybody, it'll uh, keep us in the game a lot longer. So, I'm going to minimize heat on this guy. This guy's almost gone. How much has he got left in the CT? Okay, so we're just going to fire uh, the Goss. Let's get rid of him. Goodbye. 
So now they need to move another mech in to spot us. Centurion pirate coming in. Damn it. So Centurions generally have a good chunk of armor on them. 680, so this guy doesn't. Alright. Cultivator, AC-10, Pirate, alright. Alright, height. Let's get you in here. It's our range here. I'm gonna move in for a strike. Shoot this guy straight out. I'm gonna fire everything. Hmm. Should be. Let's leave this medium laser off. Manage our heat a little better. So good ATM damage on that one. Liking the ATMs, there's more than them. There's more of them. Yeah, there's the Orion. There's more of them than the uh, SRM sixes we had, and in closer range they do about the same damage. Plus they've got longer range, so we can fire over distance as well. Here comes that missile turret. A little bit of peppering damage, not a big deal. We got lots of evasion, so we most of them miss. Okay, so Orders. I'm gonna move, not sprint, to a point where I can fire. Now I wanna move my left side. My left leg is damaged, how badly? Yeah, let's not move the left side. Let's move it so we're turning more to the right. I know they can still hit the front, but now I think probably we wanna we wanna go after the Centurion. So we're going to fire both on the Centurion. I'm going to focus on killing this guy and get him out, getting him out of the match. Some heavy damage. It's probably a second Centurion back there. So he's going to fall victim to ATMs. Okay, so I'm going to move height first. Just going to back him up somewhere back here. Get a bit more stability, a little bit more heat. We're going to turn the two medium lasers off and we're going to fire the ATMs on the side of this guy. And that's the end of him. Yeah, keep pulling that trigger height. Enemy nice job. Another 50 tenner coming in. Not sure what that guy is, but maybe the skater can tell us if we move forward. So, yeah, it's his turn to take the hit, so he's going to move in. Um, probably to here. Roger that. And what are we looking at here? Oh, we're looking at a Hunchback, 4H, AC-10. So let's go on this guy. I think our, the Orion's the guy we want to keep. So we're going to fire at him with everything. Let's try and get some good damage on him. Nice. So not bad. I'm receiving you. Flatliner, we're going to bring him back here. Once again, we're going to fire the same amount of things. Um, two LRMs and two mediums. Just looking for stability damage there, not really looking for any kind of major damage on him. Orion moving in. Yep. It was your turn to take the hit, buddy. Sorry. As long as it's not the head. Losing armor. Comes the turret. All right. Now the question becomes. Good to go. I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a cold shot here, or offensive push. Now I could go against him, 85, and 70. So I think probably the Orion is the primary target at this point for PPCs. Gonna go after that leg. He's got lots of armor, but we want to see if we can start bringing his leg off. Okay, one leg hit for 101. Good. That's a good good start. Here comes the AC-10. Okay, so Van Skater, I'm gonna walk you back. We're coming back here. Get the stability back. Once again, offensive push. We're going to look for this leg. Going to fire everything. Okay, one hit. Acceptable. Orders. Height. I want to see what you can go here. 
Can we get you down beside him? We can. Copy that. So you're going to come down in here. And then we're going to unload on this guy with our ATMs. Can leave our medium lasers off. Try and get him with a tag. So structure exposed. I'm presuming that that's the leg. Nope. That's the torso. How much does the torso have? 110. Did we blow through that with something? Hmm. I live to serve. Okay, flatliner coming down here. On my way. Now is the time we use both LRMs and everything. Firing on the side of this guy. Actually, what's a good chance to hit? So let's do an offensive push. Gonna go after the torso, or the leg, sorry. Firing all weapons. One hit, and then a lot of missiles on that leg. Don't think we'll take it off. Oh! Damn. Okay. One mech left. Seven chevrons of evasion. Eh, one hit. You got lots of arm or ammo, you might as well use it. Yes, Commander. Okay, so we're gonna walk. Actually we're gonna stay we're just gonna stand here. There's no point in moving. Give us the best chance to hit. Gonna try for a headshot on this guy, firing with both PPCs. Now we get the two leg hits. Really? Re you, you know, really? I'm your spaniel. Yeah. Moving to position. Don't have very many LRMs left. But let's fire on him. Gonna go for headshots. So we're gonna finish this up. Um, Gonna go for headshots on all these. So that's a pretty, you know, that was a pretty good representation. I think if there was more heavy mechs, it probably would have been a little better. But pretty good representation of what we will be expecting a little later on. Uh, gonna fire everything against the head, except for one medium laser. Yeah, he's gone. All right, so that's the end of that. We're gonna kill the turrets, kill the uh, plant, and we're out of here. All right, van skater, spin up here. Do this real fast. So this map can be a problem depending on what these turrets are. I've had AC2 fire from over here. That was that was a nightmare. Um, but in this one, it was pretty good. So 150. So we're just gonna go with this. Oh, Enemy structures seriously, miss <laughs> miss with the Goss rifle. Really? Yeah, they can't do anything. All right. Waiting for order. We gotta kill how many buildings here? Um. Four, and we got to kill the last few turrets. So I'm going to come down here. How much these buildings have? Medium, 100, and 100. So we're going to multi-target building A and B. One and one. We're going to risk the overheat. If we shut down, that's fine. But we're going to have a turn to get to one these turrets, so we'll be able to cool off next turn. Watch my heat. I'm taking damage. Yeah, you're okay. Relax, buddy. Alright, so let's get height. Where are you here? Can we see that turret? We can see the turret from over here. So we're going to do that. Work on this turret first. Leaving the mediums off. Going to fire the ATMs with the best chance to hit. Tag hits. Nine damage. And we'll get flatliner yep. forward. He's going to be able to see that turret over there. I think we can probably finish it up with one rack of missiles. Mm. Yeah, but why risk it? Well, we can do it with this, I think. Got it. So that should do it. Cool. So we don't have to worry about that turret now. A couple more buildings and we're out of here. Target eliminated. Yes, Commander. So let's walk it up. Let's leave the Gauss rifle off because, you know, you can't hit with it anyway. That should probably take that care of that building. There we go. Three down. One to go. Okay, I got a turn of sprinting. Maybe a couple of turns of sprinting. We're going to make our way around and kill those other turrets so we don't have to spend all the time running up the hill to get to where we need to go to get out of here. So let's print you up here Primitive. and shoot this building in the back apparently just gonna go with the lasers Confirmed. 
because we're going to need the ATMs, I think, for the uh, turrets once we see them. Commander. And same thing with you. Just leave the pulse, one pulse off. Just make sure we kill it. Leopard inbound, Commander. I meet you at the LZ. Cool. Order. You meet us there. It's so close, but it's not really. It's actually just faster to kill the turrets. Okay, ground zero moving up. There's one turret, the other one's just over here. There you are, right there. And we can see this guy now. Hardened Shredder, we can't kill it yet, but we'll be able to at least do a lot of damage on it. And then Flatliner. Moving forward, which is why I saved the ATMs, or the uh, LRMs, I mean. So we're going to fire on this guy, one set of LRMs and a laser. So that's it for that guy. That turret is gone. It is gone. Yep. All right, height. Sprint your ass up here. Ten four. All right, hardened shredder, 233. Firing everything. 75. Boom. Now we're out of here. Excellent. Done. Mission successful. Okay. So let's see what our salvage was. I'm really hoping we get catapult parts. Okay, let's see what our salvage was. I'm really hoping we get catapult parts. So 165,000. Not bad. Uh, no pilot injuries, no blow-throughs anywhere, no components lost. So that's excellent. Really well-played mission, I think. So we got lots of Butter, butter B parts here, another uh, Catapult C4 parts. Excellent. So hopefully we can get a lot of those. We got four. We could take a vehicle flamer, but I think we're out of the flamer business right now. Medium laser pluses are kind of nice. Let's see what else we've got down here that we can use. ECMs are always good, but these are the lighter ones, so I don't know. Fusion cores for money. Um, doesn't look like a lot of... We can take that for sure. Yeah, SRM plus one accuracy SRM ammo. So, not a lot that we really want here. Um, these are one ton, though. So, I mean, it's they're pretty good overall. Spike copper we don't need. Maybe a couple of the these uh, medium lasers. Because we, we do have a bunch of medium lasers now that we could swap out for these guys. We could put two of them in the Wolverine, for instance. A better chance to hit. So I think I'll go that route, and then we'll see what we get out of everything else here. One Ansazi part, one, two, three, four catapult parts. Now we don't have any of these catapults. Oh, sorry, three catapult parts and an Orion part. Alright, so 60,000 in repairs. So that's half of what we made about, well, I mean, we made about 100,000, which isn't bad. Our Pirate Lance is coming up next, so they'll be able to do um, just a mo our money run here. But actually, if we go to the store real quick, I think we can probably... I, sh I should have uh, seen what we actually collected off that. Um, it would have been better, but I did not, unfortunately. So we'll have a quick look here. So America is actually starting to like us, so we're getting a 1% discount now. Uh, we're going to sell, let's go down here, so the laser cutter, I don't think we need that, two tons, eh, there was, oh, the Pirate LRM-10 we got, we can sell that, and, hmm, that 280, we got two ECMs still. 260 we picked up, so we'll hang on to that, I think. So we're at 270,000. That's going to take a little bit of the uh, pressure off our next lance when they drop to the surface. But I think what we'll do is we'll leave it here, and coming up next will be the uh, Pirate Lance's attempt. And I think for them, well, we'll see what mission they take when they come back when we come back. Alright, so if you like the video, please put a, please, uh, put a like down and uh, feel free to subscribe if you're watching for the first time. And this is uh, me signing off until next time.